A wise reptile keeper once told me that there are two types of snake owners out there. Those who have lost a snake at some point or another, and liars. Because honestly, everyone loses a snake at some point. It's just a matter of time until it happens to you. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some techniques to find and retrieve your pet snake if it happens to go missing. <laughs> The first thing you should do if you think your snake has escaped is to check the entire enclosure. Look under the water dish, look under all the caves, dig through all of the bedding, because there's a good chance that your snake might just be hiding really well in its habitat and that it's not actually escaped at all. But if you have gone through the entire enclosure and you are positive that the snake is in fact loose, then the first place you should check is the room that the snake's enclosure is kept in. Typically snakes, at least for the first day or so, will stay somewhat close to their enclosures, so there's a good chance that you might find it nearby. When snakes are loose, they don't often go up, they usually go down. You know, it's a lot easier to go down than it is to climb up something. So snakes will usually be found near the floor, and they also will follow walls. So use this to your advantage and check where the floor and the walls meet, and let that guide you around the room where you can see where the snake might have traveled and where it may have encountered some smaller nooks and crannies to hide in. You should be looking under furniture. You should look in every box that you can find, especially those that are near walls. Lift up clothing, look underneath anything that you can find, because snakes will find the smallest little openings. Even if you think the opening is too small behind that dresser for him to fit, he'll probably find a way to squeeze back there. So definitely look behind and underneath everything along the walls, and if you can't find it, then look underneath the furniture in the middle of the room next. If you still can't find your snake in the room that the snake is usually housed in, that's when you should start searching the rest of your house. Use all the same techniques, of course. Follow the walls. That's usually where they're going to be at. Check behind couches and large chairs, and look underneath warm appliances. They're appliances that generate heat. Things like the fridge, dishwasher, laundry machine. Uh, all those things will attract the snake to hide underneath it because, you know, it's dark underneath and it's warm there, which the snake being cold-blooded will prefer. Since snakes, again, like to go down instead of up, chances are your snake will be found on the same level as it's housed in or at a lower level of the house. So you can check the upper levels if you want, but I would focus your energy on the floors of your house that are the same level or below where the snake is normally kept. All right, say you have looked everywhere around your house, underneath and behind every piece of furniture, and you still can't find your snake, well, now is the time to start laying traps of sorts in your house. The first one of which is simple, but I think this works the best, in my opinion, just plastic bags. Take these and put them on the floor against the wall. That way, when the snake slithers over them, you'll hear the crinkling sound of the bag, and that'll be a perfect marker to tell you where the snake is. I suggest laying two or three of these in every room of the house. Just put them behind furniture, you can put them in an exposed part of the wall, really anywhere. I try to hide at least a couple behind furniture because that's where I'm not going to see the snake, but I can at least hear it if it happens to pass by. Another trap you can lay would be just placing a cave next to the wall so that when the snake slithers by and encounters it, it might find it nice and inviting and go inside and curl up until you look under that cave. You know, check it every mm, 12 hours or so. And you might get lucky and find your snake inside of it one time. You can also lay a heat mat on top of the cave to make it warmer inside Side, which will also, again, the snakes are attracted to warmer areas that they can hide in, so that may also help. Uh, honestly, though, just an unheated cave works just fine, I think. Uh, as long as it's against the wall, that's really what's going to make the difference, and, and the snake is going to come by it and then slither inside. Some people will recommend putting a frozen thawed mouse inside of the cave, and the scent will attract the snake to it. This may get the snake to come out if it is already nearby, but if it's not in the room or if it's, you know, six, ten feet away, it might not smell it or it might just be too far away for the snake to care and approach. So honestly, I think using mice as like bait doesn't work very well because they go bad so quickly. So you're going to waste a lot of mice since you have to change them out every couple of hours. Otherwise, they start building bacteria on them and they're not safe for the snake to consume. 
Another technique you can use, and this works best if you have tiles or a hardwood floor underneath doorways, you can actually take flour and create a little mound of flour across the doorway. That way, when the snake goes over the flour, whether it's going into or out of a room, it'll drag some of that flour behind it and create a little bit of a trail, and that'll tell you which direction the snake was going, and it'll kind of clue you in on whereabouts the snake is at. Deciphering the trail left behind from a flower trap can be kind of difficult. I have found though that the end that's more raised is where they came from and then they were heading in the direction of where the flower is flatter. So in this case she was heading from right to left. Now depending on how frequently you check the, that mound of flower, it may or may not be helpful. I mean, it'll kind of give you an idea of where the snake is at, but if the snake has come and already gone, then it's not gonna help you a whole lot. So you can try it, it's worth a shot. Uh, but honestly, I find the caves along the wall and especially the plastic bags work the best. Another thing you can do is just to ensure that they have water while they are missing is take a water dish and place it up against the wall. So maybe one in each floor, one in each room if you want of the house. And then when they come across it, they can at least get a drink of water before going and hiding somewhere else. It helps them out a little bit. And I believe it or not, actually found a snake drinking water when I turned on a light. So water dishes might actually help you find your snake too. Okay, say you have checked your whole house, you have laid out some traps. The next thing you should do is wait until nighttime. At night is when the snakes will feel more secure and even diurnal species will become more active when they're loose in your house at night because you know it's dark, they feel safer, they feel less exposed like they do during the daylight hours. So at at this time, you should go into, you should revisit every room of your house and approach it while the lights are off. Keep everything dark and then approach the room, flick on the light and do a quick scan of the entire room and see if your snake is out in the open because there's a good chance that your snake will be out exploring at night, which will increase your chances of finding it then. Wait until the sun has set for about an hour before doing the first nightly check and after that, if you're unsuccessful, go back every hour or so afterwards until you have to go to bed and uh, keep checking for your snake to be exposed. That's really all you can do when it comes to loose snakes. Setting the noise traps, setting the flower traps which will give you a clue if they're moving around in that area, and also just doing regular checks at night to see if, they're, if you can find them when they're more active. Uh, other than that though, uh, you just have to play the waiting game, but most snakes will be found within the first week that after they have escaped. And don't lose hope if you haven't found them after that first week. I had a snake that was gone for six months and then I found her randomly in my house. You usually find snakes when you least expect it and when you're not actually actively searching for them anyway. It just takes luck and uh, picking up the right object at the right time and finding them underneath it. or looking inside the right box at the right time. They'll move around, so don't just check things once, go back and check them again daily uh, what, where you think they would like to hide because you have to really think like a snake in order to find a loose one. Once you do find your snake, the first thing you should do is give it a bath. That will not only clean off all the dust bunnies it probably slithered through during its adventures, but it will also rehydrate the snake. And after a day of settling back in, or if you think your snake has settled in quite quickly, you can offer it a meal, assuming it's gone or it's been missing long enough that it's missed meals. Feed it a meal relatively soon after you find it so that it gets some fresh food in its belly, and then you can get them back on track. Anyway, I hope that you never lose a snake, but just know that it's kind of an inevitable thing and chances are it will happen at some point if you are a snake owner. So hopefully today's video at least gave you some ideas for how you can find your loose snake in your house. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you next time. Really?